Hare Krishna. Welcome God brothers and God sisters. Welcome to Rancho Cuscusillo. I'm going to show you around what we got going on. Prima Culture. Project Prima Culture that is. And we're going to show you zone one of our farm area. Anyways, this is closest to the house. It's a little fenced in garden area. I just want to show you what we got going on. Here I got a nice beautiful plant I just uh, recently acquired. I'm going to plant this fruit and I dried some tomato seeds. So we're going to pick up some tools. Show you around. <clears throat> so these are some free plants that I got and put in a nice pot. Planted this nice uh, agave plant. Succulent. And it is springtime. Just, just on time for some little sprouts. We've got some squash here, some cucumbers here, some peppers that aren't popping up yet, or tomatoes. We got one little cucumber here, and uh, various kinds of flowers. And I want to show you over here a homemade, how do you say, planter box? raised bed. This used to be a big 2,000 liter uh, water tank that got broken. So I cut it in half, filled it with dirt. I have some uh, pieces of wood, carbon. Set it up. Here we have a nice bed made with recycled bricks. These are used bricks I lined with plastic and filled with dirt. Everything uh, we have here I've pretty much put together with uh, zero cost. Just a bunch of labor. <laughs> here we have some spearmint and cilantro. Some rose bushes I've planted show you around. A little later I'm going to plant this little guy. I got a bunch of new seeds from Ken Prabhu from Chapala. Thank you very much Ken. A flower I planted. Over here I uh, planted some ginger. I added a little bit of sand and it uh, should be doing pretty good. So this is the uh, inner area of the garden. We have a lot of plants overhead, so can't plant much in direct sunlight here. Although it's quite gorgeous, I love to come here and play some flute, read Srimad Bhagavatam, and just relax. Get some more succulents here, I'm gonna plant somewhere else. We've got a guava tree. Not looking so good, but maybe it'll catch on. Let's go outside. So this is the front gate area. Got the family dog here. walk across the road and show you where I plan to do some bio-intensive gardening, mini farm style, anyways. My uncle and I and myself are doing a little bit of planting, planting some cactus here. That time of a uh, year where it's getting nice. Prickly pears coming up. 
the fresh cactus too. Over here we have an avocado tree. <coughs> Doing all right. Got some squash planted. It looks just thrown on there and then watered every once in a while. But I'm not doing that. It's my uncle. I've got a nice little uh, semi-covered compost area. It's going to be a compost area in general. Over here we got some land that was tilled. And this little section right here somewhat see as a border. I'm going to be planting various sorts of uh, fruits and vegetables. And then over there we got some uh, cow dung. I'm going to throw into the soil. I'm going to plant some corn right over here. Some potatoes over here. have another one of these bio-intensive Plots of land right around here and grow squash, beans, maybe more corn, maybe wheat. Over here we're going to have lettuce, carrots, maybe tomatoes, see how they fare here. Squash definitely, ooh and a lot of pumpkin. A nice little plot of land over here too. We have some alfalfa over there. farm off in the distance, the farmhouse. And there's my uncle's home. And this is going to be the area. It's convenient because our source of water is right over here. This is going to be the trial grounds for permaculture. Little by little, we can test things out, see how it goes. So this is a big uh, tank, cement, <sighs> semi-underground tank. Got a mortar here, electric mortar that pumps water via these tubes and easy access. Anyways, just wanted to show you around the farm, see what I got going on, early spring. March 26th, 2012, and uh, keep you updated on what's going on. Until then, see and talk to you guys all soon. Hare Krishna.